Hi, today we're looking at ratios. When we make cordial, we make one part cordial to four parts water because that's what it says to do on the back of the cordial bottle. So we call this a ratio of one to four. One part cordial to four parts water. A ratio of one to four. And this is how we write ratio. We place two little dots or a colon in between the numbers that show the parts. So this says a ratio of one to four. One part cordial, four parts water. So let's make up some cordial now using this glass. We're going to use orange cordial and make the cordial using a ratio of one to four. One part cordial and one, two, three, four parts water. How many parts are there all together, including the cordial? Count all the parts now. There are five parts all together. One part cordial and four parts water. One plus four equals five. That's a ratio of one to four. And of course in real life, when we pour the water in, it will dilute the cordial so that it's all a lighter orange colour like this. I like my cordial a bit stronger, so I make mine one part cordial and three parts water. So that's four parts all together, or four quarters. One quarter is made up of cordial and three quarters is water. So that is a ratio of one to three. It just shows four parts. One of the parts, or one quarter, is cordial, and three of the quarters are water. A ratio of one to three. Peter had five lollies. Karen had twice as many. What was the ratio? Well, there's Peter's five lollies. What does twice as many mean? We times it by two. What's five by two? Ten. Karen had ten lollies. So if Peter had five lollies and Karen had ten lollies, let's work out the ratio. We have P for Peter and K for Karen and that colon or those two little dots in between, that's the sign we normally put in between to show a ratio. Peter had five and Karen had ten. That's a ratio of 5 to 10. Now if Peter divided his 5 lollies up into 5 groups, 5 separate groups, he would have 1 in each group. And if Karen did the same and divided her lollies up into 5 groups, she would have 2 in each group. So for every one of Peter's lollies, there would be 2 of Karen's lollies. One to two. So five to ten, a ratio of five to ten, shows the same as the ratio of one to two. So five to ten can actually be written in a simpler form with smaller numbers, one to two. It means the same thing. It means twice as many. For every one, there are two. For every five, there are ten. So let's answer the question, what was the ratio? The ratio was one to two. And the big hint there was that Karen had twice as many. So for every one of Peter's lollies, Karen had two. So if he had five, Karen had ten. So that was a big hint. Now this was a fairly short lesson, but a new concept, so I would like you to watch this lesson again. When you have watched it at least twice, then it will be time for your worksheet.